Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you, or we'll be discussing with you, Udu CRM tutorial for beginners. So we'll be showing you how to use Udu here for CRM and for your sales. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first things first is we first have to visit the official website of Udu, which is udu.com. Now in their website, you should be able to see their official website, which in this case, it's going to showcase you all the business tools that you could actually use within their platform. So there's going to be a lot here. So that includes accounting, knowledge, sign, studio, subscription, and a lot more. But the great thing here is they have the CRM tool here. So let's go ahead and click on it. So Udo CRM here actually assists you and helps you with your sales needs. And it actually gives you an option to track leads, get accurate forecasts and focus on what matters, which is in this case, getting opportunities or closing opportunities. Now, in this case, you should be able to see some information about Udo CRM here if you just scroll down a bit here. So in this case, we just want to start using it. So how do we do that? So at the very top here, you should see the button here that says start, it's free. So let's go ahead and click on start now. And it should actually load up another page here. Now, on the next page, it's going to ask you to create your account and fill out some information about yourself. So that includes your first name and last name, your email, your company name, your company size, and primary interest. So in this case, let's go ahead and fill out all these details. Now, once you click on Start Now button and fill out all these details, it's going to welcome you into Udu. So the platform will never lead to just from all activities here. So it's going to load up some information here. So let's just wait for it to load up properly. And as you can see, we now have our Udu account. So this is a fairly new account. It's going to actually send us a email. So in this case, let's go ahead and go to our email account here. So I actually use Gmail here. So let's just go to that email and you should be able to see a Udu email here. So let's go ahead and click on click to activate your Udu account. And from here, we need to activate our database. So we need to choose a password and confirm that password. So let's go ahead and do that. And once we've activated that, it's going to give us an option to invite colleagues. But if you want to skip this for, for now, you can go ahead and click on skip. And as you can see, it is now all done. So your divis has been activated and zero interfaces has been sent. So go to rinzi.udu.com, which is the website I actually use. Now we are back into the main UI for Udu. Now, again, since Udu has a bunch of applications that you could use here, you need to choose CRM here to access their tool. So let's go ahead and click on CRM here and you should be able to see your CRM uh, dashboard. Now, in this case, as you can see, create opportunity to start playing with your pipeline. So you can use the new button and send email to the following to test the email gateway. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on you here to create an opportunity. So maybe I want to say uh, this is going to be uh, Renzi's. Just type that in. Just click on add. So if you also want to add an expect revenue here, add some stories. If you want to a phone, email, you can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and click on add here. And from here, if you want to uh, change a few things, like for example, the color, for some make this a different one. So choose a yellow here, you could go ahead and do that as well. Now from here, once you actually click on it, you should be able to edit a few things about it. Like for example, your expected revenue, probability, customer, email, the phone, even extra information if you want to add that, like the contact information and marketing as well. Now in this case, let's just go back real quickly to the main UI. And we should be able to see this board here. So there are going to be different stages on the CRM section here. So currently, since we just added this one, you should be able to see the Renzi's opportunity here. If you want to add this to a specific uh, stage here, like for example, qualified uh, proposition M1, uh, you could go ahead and do that. Now, in this case, it's going to say congratulations for your first deal. Now, if you want to generate a lead here, you just need to click on your leads at the top section. And from here, how many leads would you like? So maybe I want to say companies here and three companies would be enough. Industries, maybe I want to say it's under media. And if you want to filter uh, on size, you could go ahead and do that. But we want to include as much as we can. And sales team, you could change this one. And the sales perks, uh, person is going to be you. But if you want to add a teammate, you could go ahead and do that. Now, also the tags here, you could add them. Like, for example, media. This is just an example. You could go ahead and do that. And for you, just click on generate leads. Now, generating leads here could actually give you uh, uh, different ways on what uh, 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 st specific companies you might want to go for. Like for example, we have Sunstar Philippines here. You should be able to see uh, their details here. That includes the email 
phone numbers and the uh, salesperson here and a lot more so this tool is actually uh, paid on other platforms that's why using the uh, uh, Udo CRM here could actually help you a lot because specifically CRM or Udo CRM is actually uh, you can use it for free for a free trial but for other platforms this immediately at the start it's going to be paid so it's something really great since you'll be able to test the waters here on CRM or Udo CRM as well now again you should be able to change a few things here like for example qualified uh, you get to position one but if you have a specific stage on your uh, uh, specific uh, workflow here you could add a new one and add it in here so for example I want to say uh, testing and here just click on add and as you can see, we were able to add this specific uh, stage here. Also, if you want to reposition them, you could go ahead and drag it uh, in any way that you want. So for example, if you want to go to qualified, go to testing and proposition, go ahead and do that. But if you want to delete this, just click on the gear icon here and you can go ahead and delete that as well. Also, if you want to change your current view right now, you could actually change this. Like for example, this is going to be the cabin, but it also changed the list of view here if you want to view this as a list. As you can see, it is now a list. But if you want to view this as a graph, you go and click on graph here and you should be able to see that as well as the option for favorite or even the calendar as well. So you also have the call heart here if you want to use that as well. But for now, let's just use the Kanban here. And also you have other tools or settings that you can actually access here. Like for example, you have the sales here. So you have my pipelines, my activities, and a lot of those uh, things. So in here, the sales is going to be what we have right now. Since we actually generated a lead here, it's going to be what we, what we got. We also have the teams here if you want to uh, see the teams. So you have currently the sales team here and their current uh, opportunities have customers here so this includes all the customers that you have right now and we also have the reporting section here which includes port forecast pipelines if you want to view that and the leads the activities and all of those things now i also have the configuration here like for settings uh if you want to few, change a few things on your crm settings here like recurring revenues multi-team lead enrichment and lead mining if you want to use that also you have the sales team here like for example we have the sales team uh, the following uh, email for the sales team. So if you want to create a new one, you can go ahead and enter the sales team here and uh, fill out all their side details. So that includes their team leader, email aliases, accept emails from everyone if you want that. And uh, yeah, so for now, let's just go back into the previous page. And also, we have the option to uh, activity types, activity plans, pipelines, like for example, tags that you could actually use. So since we actually added a new tag here in media, it should appear here and lost reasons and lead generation. So you have lead mining requests if you have those. But yeah, so those are the basics on how to use Udo CRM here. So obviously there's going to be a lot more that you could do here on Udo CRM. But the basics here is basically the leads generation here and uh, basically managing on the current stages they have right now for your um, leads. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.